Hi there, I'm Jordan Anos. I'm going to walk you through a brand new server uh, in the HPE ProLine Compute family called the DL384 Gen 12 today. Very excited about the system, um, mainly because in partnership with NVIDIA, uh, we are launching the first ever ProLine, industry standard ProLine, based on an NVIDIA CPU, uh, the Grace Hopper Superchip, uh, to be exact. Um, there are two of these GH200s in every DL384. Uh, optionally, you can go for one, but the one that I'm logged into right now, I'm going to show you, has two. Uh, you can have a up to 1.2 terabytes of combined fast memory, uh, but on each of those super chips, the GPU itself has 144 gigabytes of memory, meaning that we can do a lot with it, um, specifically with large language models. So. What I've done on this system is I've run just two Docker containers. Uh, one is Olama and the other is Open Web UI. And I'm just watching the NVIDIA SMI command to get a makeshift dashboard and see, you know, both of these GH200 super chips uh, can consume up to 900 watts, but they're pretty much idle right now. You can see there's no memory usage. Um, none of the GPU utilization is in, in place and there's no running processes. But really simply, I'm just going to select uh, one of the models from my drop down menu here, Llama 3.1 latest, which is an 8 billion parameter model. And I'm going to start a chat. Uh, we're going to talk about launching um, this system here. So, hello, I'm writing a blog post about a new server from HPE. Um, help me get started. So really quickly, uh, what we'll be able to see if we look at the little um, dashboard here on the on the right side, the makeshift one, is that uh, we've actually started a single process. Uh, it's running on GPU ID number one, um, and we've we're starting to consume a little bit of memory with that 3.18B model. Uh, the name of the server is the ProLiant DL384 Gen 12. It features GH200 superchips from NVIDIA. It's targeted for organizations getting started with LLMs. There we go. So really nice, fast performance um, out of this model. Uh, that's 8 billion parameters. And you know it's nice and interactive. I'm starting to build with the blog post. The other thing that we can do here is actually show that with just two chips and two rack units of space, standard power supplies, standard features like ILO 6, uh, we can actually download and run the 405 billion parameter version of Llama 3.1 on just two super chips. So here we go. Provide me with 10 different launch slogans for this new server. So what we'll see in this case is actually that we consume uh, quite a bit more power. Um, I've got to pop open the uh, the dashboard and restart it here. But basically, um, uh, this system is going to be consuming um, the full, like, you know, GPU memory space on both of these um, both of these uh, chips to be able to run that 405 billion parameter model. And we'll see, we're starting to get an output. Looks like the 405 billion parameter model has been loaded into GPU memory. It's a little bit slower, a lot slower than the 8 billion parameter version of Llama 3.1, but the output is going to be much higher quality. And you can see kind of in live time here, um, 390 watts and 371 watts being consumed on these uh, GH200 super chips as we print out 10 different launch slogans in the chat. You can also see a lot of the memory is being consumed and um, 46 or 47% of the GPU's compute utilization is actually being consumed. Write me a poem about GPU performance. So a really nice like interactive way to get going. Uh, it it really takes minutes to to get this set up. Maybe a, a little bit longer if you've got to download 
800 gigs, which is the size of Llama 3.1 405B Instruct um, from the public internet the first time. But once you've got it downloaded, once you've got it cached, you can really get started with developing these models um, and you know learning to interact with them and compare them uh, pretty quickly. The thing that I wanted to show with this is that even though it's an NVIDIA CPU that's based on the ARM architecture, we've got support for many different um, popular open source containers like Olama and OpenWebUI, which I'm using for this demonstration. You can see you know, on Olama's public GitHub page here, if I click on tags, all of the latest uh, GPU like uh, containers have multi-architecture support. So you've got the AMD 64 and the ARM 64 uh, OS dependency here that's supported for the for the latest um, release of Olama. And it's not just open source software that supports ARM or you know public stuff on Docker Hub. You can also partner with enterprise support through NVIDIA and NVIDIA's AI enterprise uh, support offering to get one of the 337 and more containers in the NGC catalog from NVIDIA, many of which have multi-arch support. For example, here I've got the PyTorch image that's optimized for NVIDIA GPUs. You can see that multi-arch support is enabled here. And uh, I also pulled up the Triton inference server, also available on NGC, and you can see multi-arch support there. So in summary, you know, the ProLiant DL384 Gen 12 is a brand new system from HPE featuring two of the GH200 super chips. You can get started very simply with LLMs, and it's powerful enough to run the largest and most performant open model in the industry right now, Llama 3.1 405B. Uh, thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit about this server with me today.